Hi all, welcome to Tech Forum. Today we will explore the topic of web optimized image delivery in Adobe Experience Manager. Specifically, we will look at how AEMSA Cloud Service leverages WebP images for optimized faster loading pages. What is WebP? Before we dive into AEM, let's quickly go over the WebP format. WebP is a modern image format developed by Google. This offers both lossy and lossless compression. This means it produces smaller file sizes than JPEG and PNG while maintaining the quality. Key features of WebP images Reduced file size These images are typically 25 to 34 percentage smaller than JPEG and PNG files. This helps to improve website load times and reduce the bandwidth usage. Supports transparency. Like PNG images, WebP supports transparent backgrounds. This make it suitable for graphics and overlays. Animations. WebP can also support animations similar to GIF files with smaller file sizes. Browser and platform support. While WebP is widely supported by most modern browsers, compatibility on older browsers may require fallback options. Display WebP images on supported browsers and fallback to PNG or JPEG in older browsers. WebP is ideal for web developers looking to optimize images for speed without compromising the quality. AEM as a cloud service includes a feature called Web Optimized Image Delivery. When enabled, it delivers image assets from the DAM in WebP format. This feature is exclusive to AEM as a cloud services. If you are using AEM SDK locally, it falls back to the Adapt Image Servlet. The Web Optimized Image Delivery service in AEM uses a feature called Server Driven Content Negotiation. This means that Instead of strictly following the image file extension, the service automatically chooses the best image format for each user based on what their device and browser can handle. For example, if a user's browser supports WebP, the service will deliver a WebP version of the image, even if the original file is a JPEG or PNG. This way, users get faster loading images without any extra effort from the content author. This improves the performance and user experience. The web optimized image delivery feature in AEM as a cloud can be used in three different ways. One is using AEM core WCM components image, then creating a custom component that extends AEM core WCM component image, then creating a custom component that uses the asset delivery Java API to generate web optimized image URLs. The image core component in AEM supports web optimized image delivery. This requires to be enabled through template component policy. A few things to note, image storage, only assets stored under slash content slash dam will work with web optimized image delivery. Images uploaded directly to a page and stored under a CQ colon page object will use the adaptive image servlet. Most of the time, we directly upload the local images to image core component. In those cases, the image delivery fall back to adaptive image servlet and no WebP delivery used. The asset delivery API enables web optimized delivery in AEM. The API methods can be used to receive the web optimized image URL. Based on where you are trying to use the asset delivery API, either in OSA service or Sling model, you can use either of this approach. So you should import com.adobe.cq.wcm.spa.asset delivery class. On OSA services, use at reference asset delivery specify as optional. On Sling model, use at OSA service asset delivery here also specify as optional. The service runs only in AEM as a cloud, so marking as optional avoid any exception while developing through local SDK. You can enable conditional based approach to fall back to no WebP URLs 
with the asset delivery service is not available. The image parameters for asset delivery API. These are the some of the parameters you should send to asset delivery API to get the web optimized image URL. If you see your path, the asset path, SEO name, format, prefer web P, true, quality, width, height, crop parameter, then rotate, then flip parameter. But most of them are optional. You should send path, SEO name, then prefer web P, true, also format. So some of these are mandatory, but other than that, everything is optional. So then if you see here, asset delivery, API dot there is a method get delivery URL you should pass the resource asset resource then the parameter map so this will return the web optimized image URL dispatcher rules the URLs for the web optimized images starts with slash Adobe ensure the dispatcher filter allows this request let us now see a quick demo how to enable the web optimized image delivery for image core component and look at the difference in browser load times and file sizes between normal image delivery and web optimized web delivery. I have already uploaded some sample images into DAM. This is my sample page. Let me drop image component here. This is fine. Let me configure the image. I am going to take the image from DAM. This is the image. Drop it. So title this fine done. This looks fine now. Let me access the page viewers published. Okay, the page loader. Let me inspect this. If I go to network, may need to refresh the page again. Now if you see this image, it's coming as Adobe Summit.png. This the type is PNG. Now if I click this, if you see slash content test, it is not slash Adobe. So it means it is not optimized image. If you see the size, it is 1.4 MB. If I go to timing, if you see the timing, it total 362.95 millisecond. Let us now enable the web optimized image delivery. Let me go and edit template. Now I am going to select this image component policy. Now if you see here there is something called enable web optimized images. I am selecting that. Click done. All fine now come back this good let me access the page again okay this fine this time if you see this image Adobe summit.png but prefer web be true and width and other details are there also if you see this type it is web P. also if you see the size it's only 593 KB so let me click on this, go to timeline. So if you see the timeline again, uh, 322.21 millisecond, you are not seeing much difference because one image also I am running in my local. But if you have multiple images and if you use this format, you will see significant improvement of loading time. If you see this image URL, it starts with slash Adobe, then dynamic media, then deliver and other, other details there. Refer to these URLs to get more details on Web Optimized Image Delivery in AMSA Cloud. This document, Web Optimized Image Delivery, give more details on whatever we discuss, how to enable it for image component, then when Web Optimized Image Delivery is unavailable, some of the FAQs. Refer to this document to understand how to use Asset Delivery API to enable Web Optimized Delivery to a custom component. This follows a proxy pattern proxy the API calls and the logic from the components. So every custom components that require this web optimized image delivery can use this approach. You can also refer to image IMPL and asset delivery helper from core components 
to understand more on this. Additionally, AMSA Cloud Services supports directly uploading and accessing WebP images. Refer to this URL, Experience Manager, Cloud Service, Assets, File Format Support. You can see different file formats supported and WebP, everything is supported. Thumbnail Generation, Metadata Extraction, Width, Height and Crop. If you see here, I have directly uploaded a WebP images to AMSA Cloud Services DAM. So now you can even access this image, WebP image externally. If I double click this and copy this link. Now see if the image is downloaded, if I go there and see it is a WebP file. To summarize, Web Optimize Image Delivery in AMSA Cloud Service helps us deliver web images for the core image component, improving performance significantly. Although AM supports WebP assets in DAM, uploading WebP directly is limited in component use. So the Web Optimize feature really helps get the benefits of WebP with PNG and JPEG. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next video.